दिस इज डॉक्टर रमेश गाजुला एट पनेशा स्पाइन पेन ऑर्थो स्लिप सेंटर विथ मी डॉक्टर अंकित न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट एंड डॉक्टर दीपा शी इज इंटरवेंशनल पेन फिजिशियन डॉक्टर रविंदर बेथ सर इज ऑल्सो सीनियर इंटरवेंशनल पेन फिजिशियन वी आर गोइंग टू डू एल एफ सी एल अल्ट्रासाउंड एज वेल एज ए ब्लाइंड अप्रोच टू एल एफ सी एन ब्लॉक दैट इज लैटरल फिमोरल कुटिनियस नारो इट नॉर्मली इट हेज गॉट ए डरमोटोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑन द लैटरल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द थाई purely thai and it's a sensory nerve is purely it? sensory purely sensory nerve and it has got a root value of l2 l3 ventral root posterior division so neuralgia paresthetica is coined its origin from two greek word neuros and algos neuros means thai and algos means pain so many a times we see patient come into our opd with just some sensory complaint of pain and paresthesia pain and tingling over the lateral aspect of thai and rarely it produces numbness so if the numbness is produced uh, the the term neuralgia paresthetica is means no more for the patient and very rarely it is bilateral 20% cases it is bilateral so if this nerve originates from the l2 l3 nerve root ventral rami and it cross comes to the low, lateral border of the swass major then it comes across the iliacus muscle to the anterior superior iliac spine it goes deep inside the inguinal ligament deep inguinal ligament and comes in the thigh It after coming in thigh, it lies superficial to the sartorius muscle, and it is confined by the connective tissue and the fat tissue. So it lies between the tensor fascia lata and the sartorius muscle, and there, after piercing the tensor fascia lata, it supplies to the lateral aspect of the thigh. So it can have many anatomical variations, and, and it is not present consistently in every person. So it after coming to the anterior superior iliac spine, it can go. normally it goes inside the deep inguinal ligament but it can course through the inguinal ligament or it can reach at course from above the inguinal ligament normally it uh, gives branches after piercing the tensor fascia lata but it can also give branches before the anterior superior iliac spine so we have to course the nerve very from the beginning to uh, see the uh, symptoms of the patient mostly the symptoms are increased during hip extension standing for prolonged standing walking and it is relieved by sitting and uh, if they are wearing something like a uh, wide belts or uh, very tight jeans or something that can also uh, aggravate the symptoms so we have to as the clinically we should assess the patient take up detailed history and uh, see where it has started and we have to rule out any red flags by doing mri and seeing if it is originating from a uh, root or there is an impingement of the root from there if it is and there are other symptoms then we have to rule that out before taking this as a neuralgia paresthetica and also we should rule out any pelvic uh, tumors or if there is any if, if they are having any other um red flag red flag red if the patient is having motor weakness or bladder disturbances then we should look for the mri to look for the uh, any uh, tumor or something myelopathy changes normally it presents with burning sensation yes, rather yes, than yes, pain yes. Uh, yeah numbness is uh, the L- later, later stage we see the numbness but usually presents with anterolateral aspect of the thigh with burning sensation that said how do you diagnose uh, do you go for ncs or it's a clinical uh, sir it is mostly a clinical diagnosis in ncv hardly we find this in our and in ncv also sir we look for large myelinated fibers when we do ncv and the uh, its symptoms which patients complain of are more more of the small fibers like a delta nc fibers so they are less likely to be get carried in our ncv study so ncs is useless okay. ravind sir it is useless for uh, diagnosing neuralgia paresthetica is purely clinical uh, by clinical examination we find okay. out whether patient is suffering with neuralgia paresthetica so because of the anatomical variations also in many persons so this uh, when we are putting for electrodes we are putting in ncs na so we cannot judge where the nerve is so uh, it comes negative most of the time that falls and um, that much smaller nerves may not be uh-huh. visible in ultrasound and variations in the course of the nerve by seeing the ultrasound is not always possible and uh, in that way also clinical signs are more relevant okay. yes sir so we usually do a diagnostic block under ultrasound guidance initially we can give some amount of uh, dipamidrol along with the local anesthetic if patient want a long lasting relief of pain we do pulse drf so there are certain landmarks wherein under ultrasound guidance we can catch hold of this uh, lfcn uh, probably uh, 10 cm below yes. or four finger breadth below the anterior superior iliac spine 
where there is a, a tunnel almost between the tensor fetal lata and sartorius and the posterior aspect is you know your rectus femoris in that fat filled tunnel you can find out the uh, lfcn but most of the times it is already branched mm. so when you want to do a block either you have to give a higher dosage of 5 to 10 cc 10 ml of solution or you have to trace the now proximally up to asis mm. wherein before till <coughs> it is and one more thing is yes it is uh, sometimes uh, 3 to 4 mm thick so even if there is any entrapment post entrapment uh, mm, uh, swelling. swelling that also you can make out you can measure even yeah, the thickness ultrasound. of the nerve mm. under ultrasound previously before ultrasound msk and all kind of thing we used to blindly also blindly also anyhow we will now show you under ultrasound guidance how to trace this lfcn and exactly there are three to four different methods mm. one method is you can just put four finger breath below the asis mm. and if you try to slightly flex the hip joint you can make out a groove between the tensor fascia lata and sartorius there you can put your probe either you can do a block under short axis or long axis depending upon your user uh, your uh, technicality with the usg probe that's one thing or you can trace it up anything else deepa to add on otherwise uh, usually place the probe just below the inguinal ligament and you can find out the femoral vein femoral artery as well as your femoral nerve so behind these structures you know that from medial to lateral there is pectineus you got psoas your iliacus and uh, the so called on the iliacus there is there is a fascia called as fascia iliaca and uh, above that you got fascia lata in between these two fascia you can find the so called lfcn just sitting above the sartorius mm -hmm. so okay. it's nothing but a, a fat filled flat tunnel i can say fat filled flat tunnel uh, you can trace out lfcn there mm -hmm. and you can block you can do even a pulsed rf since it is a uh, sensory nerve we can do a for better uh, more uh, duration of time effect you can do a pulse nerve but as a beginning we do a diagnostic block first of all then followed by that thank you yeah this is a femoral artery here is a femoral vein femoral artery you are able to see the pulsation and here comes the femoral nerve and this is iliacus muscle you can see a big iliacus muscle here so from medial to lateral in the middle side you got pectineus and the psoas and this is iliacus okay we are going just we have placed the probe under the ligament, uh, under the inguinal ligament. Okay. See, we are moving lateral, we are moving lateral. And this is the sartorius muscle. This is tensor fascia lata. So you can see this is the tunnel. This is a fat filled flat tunnel. You can see between these two. So this is LFCN block which we are going to do. So this is the area where we are going to do the block. So, this is tensor fascia lata and here comes the sartorius and this is iliacus femoral nerve, femoral artery and this is a vein. I am going back again, going back. This is what? Sartorius. Sartorius. If you can see here nicely, this is LFC, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. I am making in the center of the screen. This is center and now we can do it from lateral to medial. So, injection. Okay. Fine. Nicely it is traced out. So, if you see here, this is this side is anterior superior iliac spine, this is tensor fascia latte, and this is fat filled flat tunnel consisting of lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And here comes the sartorius, this is sartorius, and this is iliacus muscle. I am going little no. down. See, this is femoral artery. Able to see this is the femoral nerve, no. and here comes the iliacus, this is fascia iliaca, and we are going lateral. You see, this is what? Sartorius. Sartorius. And uh, here comes, this is LFCN. Now, Dr. Deepa is going to do a LFCN block. And now, uh, Dr. Ankit Neurologist will explain about the below inguinal ligament sonar arachne. What is this, Ankit? So, this is femoral artery. Okay. And what and is this medial, one? Just lateral to it, this uh, is structure is uh, femoral nerve. Okay. This structure is... Uh, this yeah. is iliacus muscle. Just lateral to it, we can see this sartorius muscle. The groove which is 
dividing the iliacus into sartorius yeah this is sartorius you mean to say yes sir this so, i'm going little lateral. lateral what is this one so this is the group for lateral femoral cutaneous yeah this is a group for lateral femoral cutaneous no this is a group. so this is sartorius. sartorius and how about this muscle so this is tensor fascia right how about this muscle this is iliacus iliacus so i'm going medial and this comes the femoral nerve and this is femoral, femoral artery. artery so this is the orientation when we are placing a linear mm -hmm. probe just below the inguinal, inguinal ligament. ligament. So now you understood this is iliacus yeah. muscle and this one is fascia lata. So okay, and this comes the sartorius, and here is this one is this is what groove for no. groove for lateral, lateral femoral cutaneous. Yeah, that's beautiful. Lateral femoral cutaneous, and this is tensor fascia. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. If you see here, this is the needle path, and here comes your uh, LFC and nerve, and this is tensor, this is tensor, data, yeah, it will go inside. Yeah. Show, show the sartorius muscle, Ankit. There can be many anatomic variations of the LFC and nerve, but this group between the sartorius and iliacus fat field group is consistent with every patient. Yes, give you drug. So we are injecting the drug. Enough. How much did you give? Hmm? Let's try to get another one. Try another one. Let's try to get another one. Hmm? Hmm.